हाय आय एम परमानंद अशोक पवार वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजिनिअरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एन बी नवले सिंहगढ़ कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग सोलापूर आय हॅव कम्प्लिटेड माय एम टेक इन पॉवर सिस्टम आय हॅव द टोटल टीचिंग एक्सपिरियन्स ऑफ जे एट इयर्स टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग द टॉपिक अँड दिस टॉपिक इज कॉल्ड ॲज हाय वोल्टेज इन्सुलेटर टेस्टिंग as we know that there are different j equipments are available in a power system so in which j insulator is a very very important device as we know that j insulator is a device which will j insulates the conductor from the ground point there are different types of j insulators are there such as pin type of insulator disc type of insulator shackle type of insulator and suspension type of insulators so the test of the insulators are very very important because of while we are testing the insulators so the insulator is used for a suitable transmission line purpose because as we know not as we know that the transmission lines are classified as short transmission line medium transmission line and the long transmission line so there are different tests are carried out on your the insulator so the first type of test is called as type test second type of test is called as sample test and the third type of test is called as routine test so let's we'll discuss the first type of test that is called as type test so in that particular test we are dealing with a different five types of test are there the first type of test is which stands test the second type of test is dry one minute test the third type of test is dry flash over test the fourth type of test is called as one minute rain test and the fifth type of test is called as wet flash over test so as we know that in a first type of test that is which stands test in that particular test a specified voltage is means applied to the insulator so from which the flash over or puncture should be occur otherwise this the insulator is permanently damaged this test is repeated five times for each polarity of your device the second type of test is called as dry one minute test the insulator which are dry that prescribed voltage should be gradually brought out so there should not be a puncture or flash over during the test so this is test is called as dry one minute test so the third type of test is called as dry flash over test so in that particular test the voltage shall then be increased gradually until the flash over occurs this is repeated 10 times there shall not be a damage to the j insulator so this is one of the important test of your insulator so the next type of test is called as one minute rain test so in that particular one minute rain test the insulator is made wet at a temperature of 10 degree celsius yes the prescribed voltage is maintained for a particular time of one minute so this is one of the type of test the last type test is called as wet flash over test so the meaning of wet flash over test is j j itself indicates that the voltage shall not be increased gradually until the flash over occurs this is repeated again 10 times there shall be no damage to the insulator so these are the different types of type test so the next type of test is called as sample test so what do you mean by the sample test the sample tests are carried out on your mj insulators are the sample of the insulator for the bunk or the bulk insulators is carried out and the different tests are carried out in your insulator the sample test is fully up and mj including the point of breakdown this is done only on a few samples of the insulator the sample tests are again classified into two types the first type of test is mechanical loading test the second type of test is called as electro mechanical test so in mechanical loading test the insulator are mechanically loaded up to the point of failure 
when the failure is occur the load should not be less than 2000 lbf that is load break far away point and the second type of test is called as electromechanical test so in the electromechanical test the combination of electrical as well as electrical or mechanical energy is used this the insulator is simultaneously subjected to the electrical and mechanical stresses there should be no damage is caused so this type of test is called as sample test so let's move towards the next type of test and that is called as routine test the name itself indicates these are the routine tests means these tests are carried out routinely so these the tests are again classified into two types and the first type of test is called as mechanical routine test so in mechanical routine test the mechanical load of 20 percent more than the working load which is applied after suspending the insulator for one minute so this type of test is called as routine test then this after completion of this test there should not be a mechanical failure of your insulator so this is one of the important tests of your insulator so let's will discuss the next type of test that is called as corrosion test of insulator because as we know that the corrosion is very important factor in concern with high voltage engineering because as we know that due to the corrosion various losses are occur so this is one of the important test for understanding of insulator so in corrosion test of insulator various steps are taken so the first step is that the insulator is suspended into a copper sulfate solution for one minute then the second step is then this insulator is removed from the solution and wiped and cleaned then write down the third step or the third step for the carrying out the corrosion test is that this again this suspended into the copper sulfate solution for one minute okay then this process is repeated four times so the the process that is one to two is repeated for the four times then they, they should be examined that where there should be jerry corrosion on it so this is one of the test of insulator so there are different tests which are carried out on your various types of insulator thank you thank you very much